going to be able to play after you know you rolled the ankle the night before? Um, I mean, I took today just like to take recovery and then went to practice facility, got some shots up, and just wanted to feel it out. Um, but I mean, this is a big game for us, and I wanted to be available. And we did a really I, the training staff did a great job of having me ready for today. You've spoken in the past about being ready, staying ready, and uh, taking advantage of the opportunities that have come your way. You've done that consistently so far this season. Uh, for you to keep doing this, how important is it for you to be able to contribute at the level you've been able to contribute so far this year? Um, I think it's the, the confidence that my teammates and the coaches have in me is huge. Um, knowing that they, they believe in me and that they have trust in me to go out there and make plays and contribute um, is, is huge for my own personal confidence. and. I think that that translates. I I know that their support is has been uh, huge for me going in, and knowing that they trust me to take these shots uh, helps me make them. Tobias has said uh, you are one amazing rookie. Uh, I mean, so what has Tobias done for you, just individually, trying to uh, help you grow? Aside from being a, an amazing example, he's been he's just been like a big brother. Just constantly, we sit next to each other on on every flight, and he's constantly giving me advice and. He 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 seeks. Um, like I seek him for all my questions. Like whether it's financially on the court, off the court, I, I go to him, and he's he's done it at a very high level for a, a while now, and and I really look up to him in that sense. And he's been able to be a a huge role model for me. How, how tough was that last three minutes, and what what can you learn from that going forward? Um, I and mean, they came with a really aggressive press, and I think that I know. Personally, just I need to be tougher with the ball, and I think that we'll be more prepared next time when we face a press like that. You had that three at the buzzer, and there were some all-stars around you sort of egging you on and being excited for you. When you step back, what does that feel like to have guys of this talent level be so excited for and reliant on you? And that's something that I, f I really find myself thinking about a lot. Um, like if even just like six months ago, if you had told me I'd be in the position I'm in today, it would have been really hard for me to believe you. Um, I think I'm incredibly blessed. I'm so grateful. And to have the guys that we have on this team and the, to have the opportunity that I have has been nothing short of a blessing. Short amount of games and a very, a lot of games in a very short amount of time. And you guys have come through this on a plus side of things with wins and then not have an injury, any major, major injury. What's the way to go through this as a team and how it benefits you down the road? Um, I think. It's huge. Uh, I know for me personally, just having the opportunity to play as much as I have has been amazing just to get the experience. So I know I have something to, to fall back on when we go into these games. I, I, have, I have the experience that a lot of these guys already have. And I think also having a, a fairly new team just in terms of guys who haven't played together before, uh, it's huge for us to have as many wins as we do have and gone through the ups and downs that we've been through just to be able to grow and build off of them. And like with anything, you learn from your mistakes. What's the adjustment been playing this much, like five games in seven days, back to backs? It's obviously different from what you dealt with in college. It's a lot. I was just talking about this to somebody the other day. Um, it's just being, I mean, really just being a pro. And I think that's just kind of what I've chalked it up to, just that that's, that's the demand at this level, and you have to be ready for it. You obviously weren't here last year, but did you get a vibe that today was a little bit different with the Raptors in the building, a team that obviously there's a little history there with? Yeah, I mean, I watched the game from home, so I, I, I saw it, and I can only imagine what it felt like for the guys who were here. Um, and I know that especially losing the one in their place, that, that stung a little bit, and we, we, we take pride in taking care of business at home, and for us to take care of this team here was, was huge for us.